What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, as I'm speaking right now, I'm on my computer. Everything's working well, and I have my new 1440p, um, my new 1440p 165 hertz monitor. It's a lot of fun. Um, CS2 is a lot of fun, but it's kind of embarrassing to play CS2 on camera. So, um, I'm playing some Rodina. Um, of course this video is in 60 FPS, and even if I wanted it to be, it couldn't be played in 165 on YouTube. But something I've been doing is I've just been um, doing really close to the ground sort of flights. Um, if you go fast enough, you can hold down shift and you stay on the floor. Whoa! Yeah, that's what you're not supposed to do. Um, but if you get into the right, if you sort of get into the right angle, you can. And it's crazy because I'm moving, oh my god, I just keep hitting the ground. It's crazy because I'm moving really fast right now, right? Um, and this is what I love about this game, but if I slow down, right, and I stop, you may notice already, but you'll notice, I don't know why I'm moving so slow, there we go. You'll notice that it's actually really big. So the world's really big, all the planets are real size, it's a lot of fun, um, and you know, especially in... Uh, game like this, you know, you're able to, I don't know, the flying is just fun. And the higher the hertz, the more fun it is. And man, I love doing this skating thing. Oh, even though that happens. You have to get really close. There's also this ice planet that's a lot of fun, but it's literally on the other side of this solar system, so. Um, Rodina is a lot of fun. It's a very fun game. Sadly, anti-aliasing doesn't work right now, which sucks, but... That's my only complaint. Ooh, that was close. I think I touched the ground then. <laughs> Whoa. That's the sun. Yeah, shout out video game. I wonder if I can... You can also leave pilot mode while your ship is flying. So like right now... Ooh, that was a little risky. There we go. So right now, I'm in this sort of thing, and it's funny. Let me save my game really quick. If I leave... Actually, that's not a good example because I'm going so fast that my ship will just immediately disappear, so let me go like... Uh, sort of fast speed, speed, but not super fast. Check this out. If I leave my ship, <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, and it's just really cool. I love this game, you guys. I got it after NerdCube made a video on it, um, and it's just a lot of fun. It's a great time. Another thing, also, that's nice about having. Um, a 16 by 9 monitor is that it fully fits. I don't have to cut anything off for my videos. Yeah, shout out Rodina. It's a lot of fun. It's like 20 bucks on Steam or something. Oh, I, I kind of skated on the ground there. Now it's a little boring uh, because it's we're on the dark side of the planet now. So yeah, for breakfast I had um, nothing. No, I had a couple of breakfast burritos for like brunch. I woke up at eight today uh, and I exercised. I walked four miles on the treadmill and that went pretty okay. And, you know, nothing really happened today. Not too much at all. Uh, but you know, yeah, so now we're close to space and then I think we can go into little old drive mode and you just have to do it for a second and you get really fast so we can go over you know what let's go over to the ice planet I want to show you guys
that's my current show in the background. Yeah, as you can tell, the ice planet is very, um, you know, I said it was on the other side of the solar system, and it is. I'm going very kind of absurdly fast right now. But this planet is going to get really big before we know it. It'll get really big really quick. Come on. We're getting closer now. There we go. So those red dots are enemies, but I really don't want to deal with that right now. And then the meta here is if you go in too fast, your ship will catch on fire and you have to do this whole thing where like you have a, you know, there's a reason why I have a fire extinguisher right here, right? Uh, and the game's a little broken right now. It's cause, oh, the game's a little broken. So I, I can't get out my, uh, Yeah, I can't get out my fire extinguisher, but you do have a fire extinguisher because your ship catches on fire sometimes. But this is how you enter a planet and go through its atmosphere. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so this planet, this ice planet has just some really cool canyons. And if I slow down and show you guys. Yeah, and then I went to therapy and that went pretty well. I'm kind of bouncing right now, is that okay? Yeah, so these canyons are really big. I love how big this game is, because it's like so, you know, that looks like skybox, but you can go to all of that, you know? It's like if I want to go to the other side of if I want to go on top of this mountain really quick, I can just fly up. And you can tell how far away it is by how long it's taking me to get here. And then, well, hopefully, I have a place to land on. Okay. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid what I'm doing right now. Come on, can we can we work with this? Oh. Oh. I think we're. This is a stupid way to land, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we're on top of this mountain. I remember watching NerdCube making a video on this, and he said that this game would work well with a grappling hook. I honestly think it would. Grappling hook would be cool. You have a jetpack you can fly around with, but if you look in the top right, you can see that there's only like some stuff. Like you only have a little bit of jetpack. But it's useful if you're like lost in space or something. And zoom! Yeah, this game's a lot of fun, you guys. In the canyon planet, I love just going up against the edges like this. Because that's actually, well, that's actually really risky because you can't actually completely destroy your ship if you're going too fast. And it's like game over, but you just reload your save. Oh, okay, we'll go over to this side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out video game. I love video game. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Hope everybody has a good day. See you, dude.